The prop firm space recently has been going through a bit of its own bear market. And what I mean by that is a lot of people have had bad experiences with prop firms. They've not been paid out. They've realized the offers of prop firms don't quite match what you actually end up being able to do on those prop firms. There's a lot of kind of sneaky rules that they'll put in there. And it's I've been, you know, talking about this topic for a long time and equating to uh, in the best case, a prop firm is kind of a, a firm that, you know, gives you a fair shake. But in the worst case and often case, it's more of an online casino that wants you to fail so they keep your challenge fee and never actually pay you out, even if you do well. Um, that being said, I wanna talk a little bit about some of the misconceptions also of the prop firm space. This gentleman says, Nick, 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 let's keep this mathematically short and clear. You pay $550 to get the $100,000 account of which you are allowed to play with only 10% of it. Uh, this means that the actual amount you're given to trade with is $10,000. So far, I agree with this guy completely. When you pay for a $100,000 trading account um, or a funded account where you're, you're paying it for a challenge in order to earn the right to trade this, <clears throat> here's the thing. If you pay for a $100,000 account, uh, they, it's a marketing gimmick because they're not giving you $100,000 to trade with. They'll cut, block you out and, and you know not give you a refund on your money if you lose 10% of it, right? They have like the drawdown limitations. Um, basically, this guy is absolutely correct. If you pay for a $100,000 account, you're not really trading a $100,000 account. Uh, best case, if they're putting you on an A book, if they're actually letting you trade real money, you're trading a $10,000 account. You've understood that and explained it very well. So we're on the same page so far. Let's keep going. Here's where we disagree. Now you now you decide to trade uh, your own $550. Uh, instead of paying for the $550 challenge, you decide to trade your own $550 with proper risk management and make 10% profit per month. This is a dangerous assumption by itself. 10% profit per month, even on average, would put you as the best trader of history if you could do that over the long term. Nobody's done that. Nobody's ever proven, provenly been able to do that over the long term. Um, short term, you can have 10% months. I have 10% months every once in a while. Those are really nice, but average 10%, absolutely not. The other trader goes to purchase, and, and by the way, if you disagree with the point I just made, I, I'm, it's not even disputable. Nobody has ever shown me a track record where they generate 10% per month over multiple year stretches. It's never happened. It's never been shown by anyone who will log, live log into their brokerage or do their MyFX book. I'm not trying to be a naysayer or negative, but you guys have to have you know realistic expectation, expectations with trading, and this is a dangerous assumption. Oh, 10% profit per month, that seems reasonable, but then, nobody actually shows themselves doing it. There are real traders out there who provide broker statements that do my FX book that do, you know, that sort of stuff. Uh, but none of them have ever claimed or been able to show on a long-term basis, a 10% average, uh, per month gain on their account. It's just not realistic. Unless someone can prove me wrong, drop the link for us. We'd love to see it. But over the very long term, 10% month uh, per month on a regulated brokerages, there's no like unregulated broker manipulation stuff. Um, it's never been done. It's, I've never seen it I've, all my years of trading. So that out of the way, um, that's again, we can't, we can't move past that without being on the same page. 10% per month sounds easy when you first start trading, when you've done this for a while and you realize professional traders are not going anywhere near 10% per month, you realize, you know, this is a slow and steady game. It's not a quick, you know, get rich quick. 10% per month is good, but get rich quick. hundred percent. It is the other trader goes to a purchase a prop firm. So one trader takes their $550 and trades it slow and steady. Um, and let's just say they do have a 10% month where they make 55 bucks on their account. That's a 10% gain. The other trader goes to purchase a prop firm account and gets $10,000, which is again, he's on the same page with me, the actual amount that you get on a 100K challenge. This trader now has a capital that is 20 times greater than the one trading with $550. Sure, yes. You've also made another dangerous assumption here, which is you passed the challenge, which passing challenges is easier said than done. It is again, possible if you have a good month, but you never know when you're gonna have a good month. If you have a bad month, you just lost $550 without getting any account. Um, this trader now has a capital that's 20 times greater than the one trading with 550. If he also makes 10% profit per month, again, not realistic, that's $1,000 profit, which is almost 20 times greater than $55. If your capital is magnified 25, uh, 20 times, how is that not worth it? 
So great question. And I'm not here to like bash this individual because it sounds like they just genuinely are asking these questions. Uh, on paper, this all makes sense. If I was a new trader, I'd read that and I'd be like, yeah, he's, he's right. Like you get way more money out of this. There's some assumptions here, right? Red flag number one is this assumption, 10% per month average, is something that I hear new traders think is possible and professional traders that I've worked with for years, none of them claim that. None of them can show that. None of them would even go near saying 10% per month is a good average expected return. If you go for 10% per month, you might be able to do that for a little while before you blow your account. But in order to make 10% per month, you have to be so incredibly accurate in the market, which is largely unpredictable a lot of times. Um, and you can't ever have suspended drawdown periods because you'll blow the account. 10% per month on average is just, again, I'm not trying to be a naysayer. It's just, I've done this for a long time. I've worked with and spoken with a lot of professional money managers and traders. None of them go for 10%. So that again is the first assumption that I think is dangerous. The other trader goes to purchase a prop account and gets $10,000, okay? This trader now has, uh, so here's the other one. You're assuming that you just you just wiped off what, what many traders find it incredibly difficult to do, which is getting a account, right, in the first place. You have to pass. So you take a $550 risk, you're risking 100% of your money, uh, $550, you're risking 100% of your capital to get funded. And if you don't pass the challenge, which again, even for great traders, you, you can see people in the prop space talk about that all the time, like traders who are advocates for prop firms, they'll even say that like, you're not gonna pass every challenge. So you're taking 100% risk and you're assuming that, oh yeah, you just pass the challenge and then you get the account. Well, that's half the battle. And then, then there's a third assumption. Even once you do get funded with the account, right? Even let's say you do pass the challenge, you have a really good month, an exceptional month and you get passed. Then you also are assuming that again, you can do back to back 10% gain in a month. So, and, and then still just make, so yes, the capital, the, the return you would personally make in the event that you passed the challenge, traded the amount, had an exceptional month, and then the third assumption, right? So 10% risk uh, or 10% average return is a red flag. Then the next one is passing is a really, you know, big assumption. And then um, performing is again, another big assumption. Cause again, even professional traders have down months, they have up months, they have good months, bad months, good periods, bad periods. You don't know what the market's going to do or how the dynamic is going to be, right? If the market starts trending very well and you're a trend follower, you're going to make money. But if you're the market starts trending very well and you look for counter trend moves, you're going to lose money, right? There's a couple assumptions there. The final one and kind of a nasty, unfortunate one that people learn at the end is that you actually get a payout, right? Here's the thing. A lot of prop firms Assuming you made it past all these tiers, very difficult to do, very difficult to do, to pass, very difficult to perform. And then they get, let's say you get all the way through all those obstacles and then you can't get paid out. There's another risk there. So you risked a hundred percent of your money four different times. Let me show you. You risked a hundred percent of your $550 at this point because you, you are assuming you can make a 10% risk to, to pass the challenge. You risked 100% of your, your um, $550 in order to perform on the account, right? Because remember, if you, if you uh, breach the account, you lose the full $550 during the time that you actually have it, right? Um, and then you, you risk 100% of the account by even trading with a prop firm that could go down at any time. So, to me, you might say, how is that not worth it? Well, I would say, how is it worth it? I know that if I can just generate slow and steady capital with my small account and just be patient with the process, make money over time, that I can do just fine, right? My opinion, unless you really like a certain prop firm, I'm not saying all prop firms are bad, but just be very careful and you once you if you watch this whole video and you're like, ah, Nick, you know what? I still think prop firms are like worth it. Then do your thing. I'm not here to tell you what to do or what not to do.
But in my opinion, the slow and steady route is what I did. I never got, I'm not a funded trader. I've never gone that route. I've built my own capital from a small amount uh, over the years to a much larger account over the years by, you know, working in the real world, making money. I had a software career. Now I own a software business in the trading space. I'm a YouTuber and I also trade my own money and I've compounded and built that money over the years. So this is the slow and steady grind way, the hard work way that in my opinion, I believe in. Uh, this part has so many outside variables and so many pitfalls that new traders don't realize they try and get funded and they just lose a lot of money. Anyways, um, if you are interested in going the slow and steady route, if you're sick of the, the prop firm stuff going on, I wanna encourage you to check out some of the brokers down below in the description. Each one of those has some special signup perks. Uh, some of them have deposit bonuses, uh, like the, the couple down have deposit bonuses. You can get free products, you get free signup perks, all sorts of stuff. So if you're looking to go the slow and steady route, I've got some recommended brokers, both for US traders and non-US traders down below in the description. Check those out. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Hopefully uh, the comment section isn't too spicy on this one, but it probably will be. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. If you're looking for a better brokerage, then stick around for a second. I'm going to tell you how you can get some free sign up perks with great brokerages all around the world. Whether you trade FX or indices, commodities, futures, all of the above, I'm going to show you a really cool way that you can get free sign up perks with your new account. So if you're interested in switching into a different brokerage, you can get things like deposit bonuses or free stock shares, or you can even get access to some of our products for completely free. All you have to do to find out current perks being offered to new depositors is go to a1trading.com slash brokers. That's a1trading.com slash brokers. And as you look at that page, you'll see all these different offerings that we've currently locked down for you guys as subscribers, as viewers. Now, of course, we get something out of this. If you choose to use these links, you'll be supporting our page. But in return for the viewers, we've got great sign up perks available for you guys so that you get some free game just by signing up for a brokerage if you're looking to do so. So check it out on our website. Website. You can find current deals at a1trading.com slash brokers. Thanks for watching this video. And on the screen right now, you'll see some other options of other videos we put together that might be helpful to you in your trading career. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.